Weather forecast looking pretty good for this upcoming weekend. Big changes tomorrow. What we're going to do is get a little bit of offshore flow early. High pressure is building in. It's going to compress the marine layer a little bit. So much warmer than the interior and coastal valleys. This is Pismo Beach. This is San Luis Obispo live. The 101 camera. San Luis 65, 65 Santa Maria, 80 in Paso Robles, 62 Lompoc, and 69 degrees in Santa Barbara. So coastal areas today really mostly in the 60s for the daytime highs. And again, tomorrow will be significantly different. Right now there's a breeze on shore at about 15 miles per hour for most coastal locations. Lompoc right now, west 13. Paso Robles, just a north wind of 9 miles per hour. Here's the hourly in San Luis Obispo tomorrow. Look how quickly we rocket to 79 degrees. We'll be in the 70s as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. That's how critical the direction and speed of the wind is when you get to this time of year because the water temperatures are actually fairly cool. So when the winds are strongly onshore, temperatures just don't warm. But again, tomorrow, wet light winds early really going to help us warm up. Santa Maria, middle 70s by the time we get into the early afternoon. Breeze picks up, we slowly fade off into the upper 60s. Paso Robles, again, right now about 80 degrees. Add nearly 10 degrees tomorrow. In fact, we'll be about 80 degrees by the time we get to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's the value of high pressure. Really squeezes that marine layer down. Okay, looking forward, we're essentially done for big time rains for the season, at least nothing that would help the drought situation. So now if we look forward May, June, July and August, you can see how the Central Coast begins to get identified in June, July and August for large wildfire potential. Some of this information coming out today, the drought indication looking like this. Abnormally dry, 28% of the state. No real designation, still 34% of the state. So Northern California looking pretty good. However, severe drought, 11%, moderate drought, 23%, extreme, 2.8%. That number is going up, and that's really creeping in here in the far southeastern section of California. Again, with no big time rains on the way, we'll see a slow fade of these reservoir levels. They did come up a little over the winter, but again, we're at about half of average precip for the area. So Nascimento, 47.5, Lopez, 51%, and Salinas, 94, Whale Rock at 78. San Antonio, 30 34, Kachuma at 40, Jamison 63, and Gibraltar 99% of capacity. Satellite radar composite, we do see a little bit of what's going on out here in the Santa Barbara County Mountains. Just some cumulus clouds beginning to puff up out there, coming out looking at the pattern. We have an area of low pressure kicking out. There's actually snow in Colorado. This is the ridge of high pressure that's building into the area right now. Yesterday, huge thunderstorms. Today, kind of garden variety thunderstorms in Iowa being the most active. Microclimate model, again, with clear skies out there. We do look at this moving forward and seeing some marine influence in the night and morning hours getting scrubbed out by a breeze each afternoon. Again, Friday will be the warmest day. A little more marine influence and high clouds on Saturday and Sunday, bringing the temperatures down just a bit. But you can see there at the extended forecast, Paso Robles in North County just going to hover around the mid to upper 80s. So this ridge sets up over the area. It does get weaknesses from day to day, but pretty persistent going into early next week. So it's kind of a set it and forget it forecast, to be honest with you. So here you go. 79 San Luis, 76 Santa Maria, 77 Santa Barbara, 87 in Paso Robles. Overnight lows tonight for many right around the mid 40s to 50 degree temperatures. 77 in Carp tomorrow, 84 Cuyama, 77 in Orchid. In the five cities, upper 60s to mid 70s. The beaches will be the coolest spots, but again, we'll still see some beaches getting up here into the middle 70s. Avila Beach, 86 Tascadero. The extended forecast trend is again very level down just a hair as we get into Sunday with more marine influence, especially at the coast. But inland temperatures kind of hovering around those mid to upper 80s. Time to make sure you've changed that filter on the air conditioner, perhaps. Richard, back to you.